We talk a lot about heat stress, but we don't talk a lot about cold stress, and it's equally as dangerous in many cases in many environments. So people understand in general that cold is bad, but they may not be as aware that wet, either from an environmental condition or even just sweating, and wind both dramatically increase heat loss. You may be familiar with that from wind chill. So it's not just being cold, it's being cold, wet, or windy dramatically rack up the rate at which you can lose heat. And when the body can't warm itself adequately anymore, you're prone to serious injury and, and even worse. So OSHA has no specific standard at this point in time about this, but it does have some recommendations. It says that we should train our people, of course, to recognize the conditions that can cause cold stress, the symptoms of cold stress, and what clothing they can wear to help avoid the cold stress. So when it comes to selecting arc-rated and flame-resistant protective apparel for cold environments, you obviously want to either choose insulated systems or have good layering options to keep yourself warm and you want to have clothing that will wick and evaporate moisture so that you don't remain wet. You also want to do things like take frequent breaks in warm areas, work in pairs so that you have a buddy system and can recognize when someone's getting into trouble, and have warm beverages, not alcoholic of course, available to help you warm up internally.